It started with a dream. When I was younger, I watched the uh, I watched the thriller. I had all the behind the scenes. After serving 20 years in the military, Mark DeVoe decided to turn his hobby into his dream career. I thought it was just so cool. I'm like, this is what I'm gonna do. I did a short film, and then that went to a TV and a series and a this and a that. I worked on X-Men. I did the uh, Seagulls for the Lighthouse. Making special effects is not only a passion, but also a form of therapy. I love painting and sculpting, because that's when it comes alive slowly. Plus, I have PTSD. So for me, that's my, like what I'm doing, it's my therapy. Because there's no course locally that you can learn that kind of stuff that, in that extent. I pick up some apprentice here and there, uh, teach them. So hopefully they can uh, grow the business and show what Nova Scotia can do. DeVoe also lends his time helping other veterans work through their PTSD with sculpting for veterans. A time-consuming process, Devo FX skillfully breaks down the process to creating movie magic. First, you have to do a live cast. So this is a positive from a live cast. So it's rough, it's missing the ears, there's bubbles, there's a bunch of stuff. After that, you re-sculpt everything and make it look lifelike as much as you can. And then you make a mold of that and that's gonna be your final prop. Then you sculpt your whatever you had to sculpt, you sculpt it on that face so it fits. Uh, and then after that, when it's sculpted, you do a mold of your sculpt and you divide it, you install it, and then you just make it pretty. Question of maybe two weeks just to make one look. After 10 years in the industry, DeVoe has seen special effects evolve and not always for the better. However, he believes that more practical effects are making a comeback. It's coming around because at some point it was like everything's EG, everything's EG. You go on set, I will do it in post, I will do it in post. Technology evolves. But when you shoot a certain technology, it doesn't mean it's gonna hold up. Plus CG, I always say there's no soul in CG because you can't tell it's just fictitious. But somebody in a suit, the actors can react to it. Like the perfect marriage is go full practical and enhance or uh, trick a few things with CGI. In between production and teaching, DeVoe can be found on YouTube with his team, giving horror fans a behind-the-scenes look at their shared passion for conjuring up scares. I'm not by myself in this venture. Uh, we started a YouTube channel. It's called Rubber Grenade. And it's basically just a bunch of people that just love what they're doing. Ben is a director, an editor, camera guy like that's his thing my thing is this uh scott our monster actor seven foot tall genius we just come together and it's not a tutorial it's really the behind the scene of special effects shop devoe described a small but mighty niche within the province but he hopes that won't always be the case nova scotia needs to promote the local because there's production coming here they don't know there's a special effects shop in the province so if they would know maybe we would be like a different player in the game you all start somewhere and back in my days i didn't have anybody to call there was no google uh and so it's all like magazine fangoria and like all that stuff and watching behind the scenes instead of the movie but now i can mentor people so Let's, let's do that. Let's, let's just grow the industry. Like, just, this is supposed to be fun. Regardless if there's movies or not, or there's always going to be something happening in this shop.